It's Tuesday, May 28th, space weather, and right away I saw this article here following space weather since the 1990s, 1996. This one is, I recommend you guys go to space weather, check this out, read this article because it's talking about that sunspot X class we had yesterday, the one I caught on my video, this one right here. Okay, so but this article here, an amateur astronomer, Michael, I don't know how to pronounce his name, was watching the sun when the explosion occurred and he captured pictures of flying objects so that was the that we saw departing from the sun yesterday i have not seen an explosion like this in my 40 years of observing the sun says so fast so far out into space it was gigantic the explosion caused deep shortwave radio blackout over east asia and it goes on and on and on now let's take a look at this image here from us Austria not Australia Austria sometimes I say Australia but uh, looking at this you don't think here's the Sun let's take a closer look see what we see what do we see here and put the spiritual shield on in Jesus name the blood of Jesus sometimes you have to I mean I do this is the thing called paranoia remember my eyes I have vision problems on my left eye so I could say it was my eye oh well wow. okay this this thing called paranoia where people look at the clouds and sometimes they see things like um like a bird image or something like that. Here's the surface of the sun. This is where that explosion, the X three, I know they there was a X X two point nine, just round it off, but you know, keep it under three. But I I say it was a three. But looking at this closely since I think out of the box, and I'll just say it because I, I don't have, I know you guys can't say it, but I'll say it. If I see something weird, I'll just say it. I, already I'm seeing weird stuff, and probably you guys are seeing it, some of you, with the spiritual eye. I'll show you what I, what I see so far. Okay, where, where did you go? Okay, right in this region right here, right here, and right here. Okay. Let's see what else we can see. Sometimes you got to really, really look in. Did I point that one out already? I think, yeah. Let's see what else I see. Oh, I think I did this one. Wow, this is, this guy's never seen anything like this in 40 years. Wow. This is, this is no bueno. I don't know if that bueno. Esto se vea feo, bien feo. I mean, the more I stare at it, the more things start showing itself, and you can't look at it too. Whatever it is, is it, it, it doesn't look, it doesn't look, it doesn't look happy at all, at all. So that's just from the spiritual sense, from the spiritual, 360 thinking out of the box. Look over here, one of our compadres over here. I mean, I pointed out, you know, I've been on them. I call them compadres, you know, <laughs> I hope they don't get mad at me, I'm just having, I'm just having fun, wow, there's, there's things out of this, you ever guys ever see a volcano where it explodes, sometimes you see a lot of, looks like faces, like spirits being released from the, from hell, kind of gets the, that's, that's, I mean, looking at this, I mean, it, it doesn't look good at all, guys, okay, there was a video that I put, that I put right here, that did, I think it was Snagit that prevented me. And I just put it out there anyways. I mean, I, I slim, I, I trimmed a little here, a little there, but I had, I never had that before. I mean, the sound played, but the image, you know, did not. So I don't know what, what happened there. But I was referring to this right here, this one right here, this one. This guy is an investigator, and he's talking about the doctrine that uh, the Vatican did on Thursday, where people are saying it was an ET. No. It's a lot of other stuff too, where they where they basically halted the apparition uh, investigations. Let me see. I did write some down. Talks about the sun. Mentions about the sun. That there Maybe. will be events that will be forewarned by the true messengers of heaven uh, on earth. I'm referring to Lucia, um, Conchita Gonzalez de Garavandal. Will be will be to forewarning the faithful eight days before the miracle. And people must. Prepare accordingly. Okay, let me uh, fast forward a little bit. 
pause a little bit. Where, but he does talk about Fatima Akita being the third secret exactly. I mean, this guy's an investigator with the Vatican. Apparently, he was not happy with what the, what the Vatican did. And so he mentions a lot of prophecies that they investigated that I didn't even know about existed, to be honest with you. At that moment, there will be no doubt until finally, about according to prophecies through uh, Conchita Gonzalez and Reverend Father Michel Rodrigue, the scientific community will finally come up with an explanation to um, justify the unjustifiable, stating that a massive solar storm has caused massive and uh, universal human hallucinations. Okay, that could coincide with uh, why they did that and there's so so many it, i mean it just basically talks about uh, he, he mentions a lot of stuff that it's an hour and 21 minutes long if you really want to know what's up in the horizon mention sun but there was also another saint back in the 1600 that prophesied and he started going down the list the most recent before that are people this death that death this bent this that then he got to world war one world war two then he talked about the last, the Pope church being infiltrated with from, you know, the anti, you know what, talks about the sun, solar flares, something major fire. And this, this saint is more, more accurate than Nostradamus because the way he explains it in this video, she never missed the beat. She wasn't wrong ever. And I never heard about this until I, I listened to this. I mean, I could search around. I don't know where it was somewhere in there. I'm just trying to put this video together real quick. I was looking for it and I, now I can't find it. But here's the site. Here's I'll leave a link down below. It basically confirms the readings in the stars with the comet. You know, I read them. I always look at the sun for signs and I listen to all these prophecies. What we're seeing now, the fulfillment, the sun is like Jesus said, look to the up to the sun, the moon and the stars for signs. This is the sun. And we already saw what the moon did on April 8th during the great eclipse. And as far as the stars, you see, I mean, to me, the comet is that star. It's a moving star. It, uh, and also the stars, the alignment, this June 2nd, June 3rd. So there's a lot of events coming up this week. Evil's out of control, folks. All you got to do is just look at some of the social media and see all the violence within ethnic against ethnic. Everything programmed by the commercials, the music, the culture. The divorce industry, the burning churches down, banning Bibles. I mean, I could go on, children, this, that. I mean, it's, there's no morals. The only state that I've seen so far that's making a stance, I guess somebody over there in, in Louisiana with the Ten Commandments, ever since they mentioned it, they've been kind of like dodging bullets with these, all these, I mean, all these tornadoes and destruction and i wish florida could do do the same thing but you know these politicians are they don't think like that there's three things dinero money hustle like the lawyers wow look at this i just noticed this one right here and put over here i mean i'm starting to see a lot of stuff now i mean this thing looks wicked folks i mean i was looking at close-up now that i'm looking at it from afar no wonder he said he'd never seen anything he never seen anything like this. <laughs> Me either. I never seen anything like this on space weather. I mean, there's so, so many things. Look, it just don't look good. Let's put it that way. And that's coming our way. We had all those solar storms electrify the ground. It, uh, space weather had an uh, article on that. And some guys, some of the guys, uh, creators reported on that. How it charged the ground up. So the ground is is, is charged. It's like, think of a battery. And then it comes around and does this again. Our magnetic field... Think of Star Trek. Our shields are like maybe 50% that I'm estimating the strength as. And a lot of people are talking about the pole shift, this. I mean, you could feel it. You, you could feel it. Those that could see are able to see. Those that are not able to see, they're going to get caught off guard. Now that we know that the 1972 Akita Japan a vision is basically confirmed, that's the events that's going to occur. And then the other lady, the saint that had the talks about solar and then the other ones talk about solar events speak okay until next time my father out